G'day guys, can't get rid of me. Back again for another review. This time I've got something different. Finally got my whole hands on one of these uh, TS100 soldering irons, but uh, I've got to thank Banggood because they sent me the kit instead of just the iron. So we'll do an unboxing and uh, have a look on the bench. See what's in it. What do you reckon? Let's go. Well, for starters, we've got a great looking case. It's nice and solid, aluminium. It's going to fit in the backpack really, really smick. So I like that. That's really a good start. Inside, we've got a silicon power cable, the next T60 plug already on it, a sponge holder, which is ceramic, so it's not going to melt on you. We've got nine different tips, vary from uh, really, really fine to your more usable chisel type chips, uh, tips that will uh, heat up nice and quick. All vary in uh, their sizes, so that's a really big chisel one, so they'll heat up, hold their heat pretty well, which is great. And the smart bit, this is the thing with all the brains in it. So uh, what we'll do, we'll plug it in and uh, give you an idea how it works. Tips are really simple to put in. There's two screws back and front, slide her in, just snip it up, lights up as you can probably see here. You press the, the very front button once and it'll start heating up. As you can probably see that there, heats up very quick. I used to use an old butane one in the field and it'd take about five minutes to heat up and then the wind would blow the uh, element out and you had a lot of trouble trying to get the thing going so this is ready to rock and roll already so there you go how quick is that now you can also change the temperatures on this pretty easy you hold down this button here and you can actually change it by 10 degrees each way up down and you can actually modify that too if you want to go in five degree increments you can also do that uh, let go of the button and after a couple of seconds it'll go to that temperature same again just hold the button down you want to go up oh that's down we'll go up back to 400 leave it for a second and now it's heading back up to 400 degrees also if you sit this down it will go into sleep mode all by itself so it senses you're not touching it so the magic of uh, video editing, we'll wait for that to go into sleep mode, I'll pick it up and you'll see it actually start up again as soon as I pick it up. Now it's going into sleep mode. Okay, now it's at its sleep temperature, which is uh, 200 degrees. Now if I pick this iron up, what will happen now, it'll go back into work mode. It's now sensed that I've picked it up. As you can see, I haven't done anything, just picked it up. It's smart enough to know, and it'll go back to 400, back to working temperature. That is pretty cool. So it uh, saves a bit of juice in the battery, and it's not going to destroy your tip. Okay, we'll just solder on an XT60. There we go, I'm quite happy with that. That's not going anywhere. It gets easily hot enough to put on an XT60 plug. Uh, really impressed with these. It will go on standby itself after a pre set amount of time. You can actually put it in standby mode by holding both the buttons down. It's just such a good iron, it just works. It's uh, nice and compact, uh, very easy to use. As I said, just press the button, it turns on and away it goes. Um, it can't be any harder than that and it does the job, it heats up really quick, uh, very impressed. Well guys, I love this, uh, this is the first chance I've actually had to have a real good look at one of these. I have used one out in the field because we've used one with Stewie, we've had one for a while, really did like it. I used to use uh, one of these things, this is a an old butane one as you can probably see here, uh, had to light it. And the flame used to go out all the time, and it'd take forever to heat up. 
and it was just a pain. Any wind at all is just really give you the shits, really. These things are fantastic. Um, runs off LiPo, okay, uh, 4S LiPo. It does say 5S, but it wouldn't go over 5S. Um, it does a little warning there about uh, 6S, just a little bit over voltage. If you want to use it on the bench, you can use a, an old laptop power supply, um, which I've been using on the bench as well, and it works really, really well. Heats up really quick. So, um, look, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, who cares? Uh, I'll leave a link below if you're interested, and uh, catch you next time. Thanks for listening.